everybody, welcome back for another video. Today, you can see I have some ring planners on my desk and a kitty right here, the little fuzzy kitty. I have my collection of the ochre Maldens. I have my pocket ochre Malden. I have my personal size ochre Malden. And I have one that I don't really use that often. It's my A5 Ochre Malden. And it is, I did have it set up as a home binder for a while, but didn't use it. And I might set it back up. I will, we'll, we'll see. So the reason for this video is I had gotten some questions about how to hole punch inserts for various sized ring binders, six ring binders, six ring binders. There are many different types of inserts out there, printables, um, if you know what type of ring system you're gonna be using, some shops will hole punch them for you or let you do it yourself. It'll be quite challenging punching your holes for your inserts for your ring planners. So I have printed a few things here that are pocket size, personal size, A5 size, and also half letter size, and a couple to show you um, where I'll actually will cut them out so you can see the difference between a half letter and a whole letter. So, but let's first get into the tiny little guy first. This is actually my favorite uh, ring size, the pocket rings. I have this set up for this year actually, like, Here's my September monthly. So let's talk about hole punching inserts for the little pocket guy. The hole punch that I have is called a Work Lion. There are so many different makers of these type of hole punches. Um, the one that most people use is called Repesco. R-E-P-E-S-C-O, Repesco. Um, I think most people choose that one because you can get it in a really cute pink and gray or like periwinkle or like, you know, those really soft pastel colors. Um, I didn't go with that. I went with something a little bit more, uh, neutral, <laughs> I guess you could say. And I went with this one for a certain reason. Um, this one will hole punch, I don't know if you can see in there, it'll hole punch one, two, three, four different sizes of inserts. It'll hole punch pocket, A6, personal, and A5. And this is the reason, because I use three of those sizes. I use all of them but the A6. And it means that my, my job is a lot easier with this than with the Repesco. With most ring hole punches, you can see here how there's um, close lines on these parts that move, and then lines in here. If you have these pushed all the way together, where these lines here line up, that means you have it set for pocket inserts. So, what you would do is take your pocket inserts. Look, I happen to have the 2022 Peanuts Planner Co. pocket inserts. Now, it's kind of hard to see, but if you look on the front, see this line here? That means the center. And then you have two lines equidistant on either side, and then another set a little bit further apart, and another set further apart. The closest two is pocket ring size. So if I take these two pages, and you can see that I want a hole punch here, here, here. So I'm gonna put those two together, and when I put them in, 
I'm not gonna press the punch. But you can see how there, that is your pocket size. Another way you can check if you want to is through the back to make sure you have like the same amount on either side. And I'm gonna double check this again. And there we go. So I'm gonna punch all of my monthly inserts. And again, if a company says that they will do this for you, let them do that. This is for people that love to print their own inserts. And see that one I kind of got off a little bit, but that's okay. Last few pages, I've got some blank pages in the back. I know this is uh, awkward to see. There we go. So that is how you hole punch these little. So let's put these in. So this is the remainder of 2021, some blank pages for notes. Now let's put in our 2022. There we go. See? All good. And that's how we hole punch pocket inserts. Now, I do not have the, um, the next line is A6, and it'll say the distance between the, the two sets of rings is 38 millimeters. I don't have those. The net, what I have are a, are personal size. And that's these right here. So you can see what I have in my personal inserts. So let me show you how you punch the personal size inserts. So you'll see I have the exact same insert. It is the Peanuts Planner Co. 2022 insert. And remember how we had like these first lines for pocket, these next two lines for the purse, uh, for the A6, the next two after that for the personal. What you do is you, I might have too much in there, but, but you can see the personal insert fits between there perfectly. So first of all, make sure you have the right side in. I've got the right side in. I've got it lined up the top up here, the bottom down here. And ta-da! We've got that. Let's do one more. Make sure that we, again, get it lined up with the top here and the bottom here. And then we're gonna press. And there are those. And I also have here, these are just like a, a daily insert from Paper Test Designs. Oh, 
and a, a blank one, I guess. That might be too much for the. It only holds so many pages. It's usually about like eight or so pieces of paper. And each one is a little bit different. There. So there are my daily pages. And here are my months. So we're gonna put these in here. Um, we're gonna put the 2022 inserts. like one of the pages shifted on me. So we're going to have to repunch that. There, and see. Not a problem. Not a problem. There we go. So there are the monthlies for 2022. I've got them all ready to go. And then here are the dailies. And what I'm going to do, these really are more like, they're, they're a daily, but it says date, idea, meeting, project, whatever. I'm going to put them here at the back of my project pages. Actually, here, I'll put them at the front of the YouTube ones. Oops. I'll put them up here. So there those are. Now, the next thing that we have are half letter and A5. They get a little bit tricky. Um, half letter inserts... This is the Peanuts Planner Co. It's half letter. All I did was cut the piece of paper in half. Um, this is an A5 planner because Filofax is a European company. Actually, it's a British company. And um, here you can really see the difference. This is Filofax paper. This is Peanuts Planner Co. Filofax paper is a little bit shorter and a little bit longer while letter paper cut in half is a little bit taller and a little bit narrower. So that is why I chose this hole punch. What you have to do is just move everything as wide as it'll go. And then you have this little device here at the bottom and it's, it will come out, don't worry, it, it's made to do that. Mine, since it has the A5 setting back here, meaning the distance, it says here, 70 millimeters for A5. Some of them don't have that, so you have to do something kind of complicated. Oops, sorry, I need to empty this. Sometimes what you have to do can be very complicated. That is why I suggest getting one that will do the hole punch for A5 so you don't have to um, do one side, flip it, and then do the other side. But this will hole punch up to, it says B4, B5, A4, um, you know, it'll do lots of different sizes, but down here towards the bottom, it's really hard to see. There's an A4E A5S. So, what I do, let me show you. 
So the easiest thing you could do is, let me get this out of the way. If you have this one that does both, the easiest thing you could do is just stick this in and then try to make sure that the center of the paper is in the center. If you have this Tim Holtz ruler, there is a zero guide mark here. So this is, when it is this way, it is letter paper. You'll see it is 11 this way, and it is eight and a half this way. So, that is eight and a half. So eight and a half divided by two is four and a quarter. Oops, we have a kitty invading. There we go. So we have one, two, three, four and a quarter. One, two, three, four and a quarter. So we know just by simple mathematics that this right here, where the zero is, is the center. Your paper up roughly like that. I'm just gonna do a light pencil mark so you can see. And I actually never use this front page. We'll put a couple of pieces together. So we have them lined up like that. Now, I'm gonna line it up with the center here. And you can see I roughly have the same amount on the top and the bottom. And then we're gonna hole punch. Let's do that again. Let's see how I did. Yeah, see that was with an eyeball, that's not bad. So these are my 2022 half letter inserts that will fit inside of my A5. Now you can see the last thing I had in here was 2020. And we all remember what that year was like. I stopped using these inserts at the end of the semester. There we go, <laughs> May of 2020. So, we will put 2022 in here and see, you can see here, this information, personal, personal information one is A5. This is half letter. So the half letter is a little bit taller, a little bit narrower than the A5. A5 is a little bit wider and a little bit shorter. Now, I printed an A5 insert. It's the same one that I did, that I printed in, that I printed to put in here, that it has that grid and it has like the date, idea, whatever. It's a um, paper test design. I think she calls it the A5 grid or in the personal size, the personal grid. So, I printed it on letter paper and A4 paper. Here you can clearly see, this is just AP white, HP white paper, 
And this right here is Kokuyo Biz Paper uh, that you get, uh, I got on Amazon about a year or so ago. Um, what I'm gonna do is, since this is A5, A5, but it's on two different sizes of paper, but it's the exact same size. What I'm gonna do is cut these out real quick. I will speed this up, put a pretty little tune underneath it, and I'll be back when that's done. Here we go. Cat hair. She's everywhere. See, that wasn't too bad. So you see that I printed this insert on letter paper, and I also printed it on A4 paper. This was letter, this was A4. Now, they're both A5 size, so I can use that special setting on my here. This is the side that I want to punch on. I can tell because it says the name of the, the paper design studio. That would make sense to have the holes there so you have all this free space to write. So if you line it up with that, I think, and then even if you wanted to, Line it up with that. You'll see we have the same amount of paper coming out of the top and the bottom. Hole punch, did those all, yep, there we go, pretty good. Now, to put it into the binder, now remember the first inserts that I put in were these, these, uh, 2022 monthlies that were half letter. Now, these, which you can see, are slightly different size. They are a... See how they're the same size as the Filofax inserts underneath? And how they are slightly wider and slightly shorter. So that is how I cut and punch my half letter and my A5 inserts. If you have the other hole punch, it's a little bit more complicated. <laughs> what you have to do is you have to take your insert and I'll just take a letter piece of paper and fold it in half. And this is always, 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 always a challenge. You have to set it at one of these sides here. Then you punch half of it. Then you flip it over. And the only reason I know it's half is because of that guideline, but you also need to be careful actually that did a really good job that shows you exactly what needs to happen if you have this center punch here 
pull these out as far as they will go. Put your paper in through half, punch that side, and then you saw me flip it over and punch that side. I'll do it again. It's always nice to have extra note paper. So I'm just taking a letter size sheet of paper and I'm gonna just fold it in half. So that way, you know, if I wanted to keep something a little bit more secure, <laughs> I could put it on a post-it and put it in here and then tape it up and no one would be the wiser. But let me see if I can get up here. Or if you really wanted to be tricky is you could do it on this side and then fold it this way. Let's do this one that way. So, remember how we had that center line here? What I'm gonna do is take my piece of paper, stick it in, only in the bottom half, and line the top up with that center line. See that? Lined up. Ah! That was horrible and loud, and I'm sorry. And I will do the same thing now on this side. It's this angle I'm trying to hold it at so you can see. There, that was better. And that should work. And there you go, see? Now, Something you can do with this one, where you folded it like this, if you take a pair of scissors and just snip on one side, What you have is an insert with easier access. You have that one side still in, but this side So if you needed to, you could write something very important on a post-it, hide it away in here, and then close it up. And no one <laughs> would know. <laughs> uh, so um, I hope that is helpful. I, I know there's probably a hundred different ways I could have filmed this in order to make it easier to understand and to make it easier to see. But with the items that I have here at home at my disposal. This was the easiest that I could do. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. There are so many videos on YouTube showing you how to use a six hole punch of a variety of different makers. This I got on Amazon and it was actually cheaper than the Repesco and it, it actually is easier to use than the Repesco and that's why I got it. Um, not because it was like, you know, aesthetically pleasing or some fancy thing. It, it, it is nice. It's, it's sleek. It's black. It does everything that I need it to do. And it was cheaper than one of the, the others. And I've, I've had it for, for years since I started, you know, in my ring planners. So there we are. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.